are day and night. Daytime is when you can see the sun and its light and heat can reach you. Nighttime is when the sun is on the other side of the earth from you and its light and heat don't get to you. Day and night is a pattern that's always repeating. Another pattern that we can see daily is the sun will rise in the east and set in the west. If you wake up early enough to see the sunrise, start noticing if the sun comes up in the same place every day. A season is a period of the year that's distinguished by special climate conditions. The four seasons, summer, fall, winter, and spring, follow one another regularly. Each has its own light, temperature, and weather patterns that repeat yearly. In the summer, the temperature is usually really hot. Some of us like to swim to cool off. And then there's the 4th of July holiday during the summer. During the season of fall, we see pumpkins, leaves start to change color and fall off trees, and a lot of us celebrate Thanksgiving. Let's look at those pumpkins again. That was a really fun day at school. We also got to plant pumpkin seeds in soil. In the winter, temperatures are usually the coldest of the year and that's our best chance for snow. At school, we took a field trip to Dada G's tree farm. We also had the winter bazaar and had a cookie station in our classroom. You guys did the best job at the winter bazaar. Look at those topping monitors keeping the toppings full. Here's Addie and Drew at the tree farm. And look, here comes Miss Reagan's class. That was so much fun. The season we are in now is spring and I have noticed lots of bird eggs, lots of flowers blooming, and a ton of rain. This pattern of seasons repeats every year. Unfortunately, this winter we did not get any snow in Nacogdoches. So for fun, let's see if we can do an experiment where we make fake snow. You will just need two ingredients, baking soda and shaving cream. For this experiment, you are going to pour an entire box of baking soda onto a plate or a platter or something because it's going to get messy. Then you take your shaving cream, whoa! A bunch of <laughs> baking soda sprayed at me when I did the shaving cream, but do some shaving cream I did too much, so the amount of shaving cream that I did was too much. So here I'm mixing it and I realized that it was too much shaving cream, so I got another box of baking soda that I had and I just started sprinkling the baking soda onto my experiment and mixing it up with my hands as I go. And then it started to feel powdery, which I think maybe is how snow feels. So um, then I started playing with it and then I thought maybe I'll make a snowball and I could make a snowball. There it is. And then after I made my snowball, I thought it would be fun to make a snowman and then to pretend that it's snowing on my snowman. And I hope you have fun with this experiment.